I'm working on a Whirlpool made Kenmore 80 series washer here. And when it gets to the spin cycle, it stops and it won't drain. Now, when I close the lid, I hear the lid switch click. Normally, I would suspect that we have a bad lid switch. When I press this down, I can hear it click. So in most cases, when the lid switch clicks, that means it's good. But I'm going to do a voltage test using a voltage pen that effectively tells me the continuity of the lid switch so that I do not need to take it out or do anything if I did not have this connector here. When this is closed, the voltage on one side of the lid switch should be exactly, it should be the same as on the other side. So when this, when this is closed per the schematic, you should have 120 volts on both sides of the lid switch because it is commuting voltage down to the motor. So if it's closed, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna get a reading here and on here, but I'm not. I'm getting only a reading on one side and not the other. That means there's a difference of 120 volts across the lid switch which tells me the lid switch is bad, even though it's clicking, because it's impossible to have a closed switch with 120 volts across it without really bad things happening, such as sparks flying or a breaker tripping. So this can be used in a lot of other different scenarios when you're just looking to find out if you have an open component and a 120 volt circuit, you can use a voltage pen because you cannot have across a closed circuit a difference of 120 volts. And that's what this is telling us is that we have a difference of 120 volts here. That's our difference. No way you can have that across a closed switch. You can't have it across a closed defrost thermostat. You can't have it across a closed refrigerator door switch. So it could be used in a lot of instances where it's not going to be, this isn't bad, I could just take this out and do a continuity check, but I didn't even have to do that. But again, this video is not about this particular case, this is about the theory behind it and how you can readily test the continuity, effectively test the continuity across a component by using a voltage pin in a 120 volt circuit. Now I'm going to go ahead and show this lid switch has no continuity. I could have done this from the connector on top of the washer, but again, this is about the theory rather than the uh, actual, uh, this particular repair. So I press this. This is in continuity mode here. So it'll actually beep if the lid switch is good and it's not even. So we have no continuity there. And I'll go ahead and put a new lid switch on here to show you that it, what it does with continuity. So this is the new lid switch on here. I've got the same continuity uh, mode here, testing it. And when I activate the lid switch, you can see that this has continuity. So we'll put this lid switch in there and uh, I'll show you what the voltage pin really looks like with the lid switch in there. It'll be kind of noisy because the washer assumingly will be running. Uh, here we go. Okay, I'm back with the washer lid switch replaced. And this is what happens when you press the lid switch now. The washer does go into spin mode, so the lid switch was definitely bad. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show with the voltage pen what those readings look like. Before you press the switch, just, just like it was before when the lid was closed, you weren't getting, uh, you were getting this because there was no closed circuit. Now both sides should light up because it's impossible to have a 120 volt difference across, across a closed switch. Here we go. So both, both sides lit up and that is the reading that you would get across a closed switch. You would get the same reading across the closed switch because you're going to want to have no voltage difference across the closed switch because you cannot have a voltage difference across the closed switch without lots of current and things blowing up. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.